it's a, it's a little bit complicated, but I'll, I'll do my best to explain it. So, Randy, on Monday morning, Dad had been in the hospital Sunday, got out Sunday, knew that he needed to be seen by his regular doctor, but, but did not have an appointment. And so Randy was doing everything he could to get him in as early as he could on that Monday and, uh, and just asked me, he says, if I get the appointment, can you take him? And I said, absolutely, I'd, I'd be delighted to. Um, a little while later, an hour or two, I, I don't know, it was still that morning, Randy calls me and says, okay, they have an opening for him, but he has to get there right away. So Hampton is, what, an hour and a half from Savannah, hour and I don't know, an hour and a half. He said, um, you don't have time to drive to Hampton to get him. I will meet you in Ridgeland about halfway, which is not far from my house. Uh, and then you just take him, and I'll, I'll go back. He had some time-sensitive uh, things to, to work on. So we met at Palmetto Co-op in Ridgeland. Um, I got in my mom's car with my dad. Randy got in my truck and drove it back to Almeda, where Randy had had come to pick up my dad. So Randy's truck's back at mom and dad's house. So I drive dad to Savannah in my mom's car, go through what we just talked about, the doctor's appointment, getting checked in. Um, and back then there was, COVID was still going on and there, there were several restrictions. They wouldn't let me go back with my dad at that time. Um, so I was gonna be driving home and now I'm stuck in my mom's car. So. I know Paul was working, and it was, I guess it was around 5 or so, and, and that's when we closed. Um, I called Paul and said, Paul, listen, um, I need you to, if you would, drive my mom's car back to Almeda, um, pick up my truck, and bring it to work the next morning. And then just leave your, he was driving a, 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 like a farm truck that day. I said, leave it, and I'll drive it, and we'll just swap back the next morning. And so that's, that's how our cars got swapped. All right, so... <clears throat> When you got back on the evening of the 7th, did you see Paul? Uh, I did. And where did you see him? At my house. And and he he got into your mom's Got sedan, into my mom's car. And drove, right. to Al- and drove it to Almeda and then got in my truck and drove it to Moselle. Okay. <clears throat> and you said the farm truck was at your house. Do you, do you remember where Paul's truck was? Uh Paul's normal truck was in the shop being that, worked on. Was that Jimmy Butler's? It was a shop in Varnville, Jimmy Butler's, yes, okay. sir. Now, when you last saw Paul, was was he just as normal as you see him every day? Or was... Oh, absolutely. Um, he was playing with my kids in the yard, waiting on me to get there. In fact, that particular day, he was, he was pretty dirty. So whatever he had been doing back at work... Um, had him pretty dirty, but it, he was playing with the kids in the yard, being Paul. Is that the last time you saw him? That is the last time I saw him. 